Okay. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. This is Barry Selby, and this is my daily Facebook Live. And today's talk is um, going to go deep. So before I get started, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Um, I am known as Love Doctor to my clients and friends. I am a passionate champion of the divine feminine, and I am also a. Um, just ring it for. Well, besides being an author and speaker, and my mind escapes me for a second, my work is around helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And today's talk is actually, I put out a request earlier on Facebook, in fact. Um, so I did ask for input on topics today, and one of my friends, former client, did in fact suggest something, so thank you, Lisa, for the idea. Um, so about forgiveness, and I titled it as Forgiveness, a Master Key to freeing your heart, because it is. And for many people, forgiveness is something that maybe they don't understand. Certainly it's something a lot of people don't do. And also, for many people, they don't know, um, how do you say this? They don't know how to use it, and they don't know the power of what happens afterwards. So that's four things I can cover today. <laughs> and if you have any questions as I go through, sorry, if you have any questions as I go through, please put them in below. Um, I'll answer them either in the broadcast or after I finish, either way. So first of all, the act of forgiveness is not about anybody else. The act of forgiveness is for you and for you only. And it's one of the biggest secrets about forgiveness is that forgiveness is a tool that you use to let yourself off the hook for judgments you've placed on yourself or somebody else. So let me put that in context right away so you get a framework I'm playing with. If somebody does something to you and you judge them for what they did, because that's what it is, is you react by judging, you condemn or you upset, and um, thank you for that, and you, you basically don't approve of them, <laughs> an extreme case, with prejudice, then, um, let, let, me, let me put it in another context. If somebody, if somebody, sorry, let me say it again, the way I was going to try to say it. If somebody does something to you and they upset you, it's quite often the case where they've done something that really hurts you, you resent them, and you become judgmental about who they are. First of all, there is a really painful way to describe what resentment is like. Resentment is like, and this is the metaphor, but it's the truth. Resentment is like taking poison, expecting the other person to die. Does that sound crazy? Because resentment, let me put it in the context, if you're, if you're someone that sets you and you resent them, you walk around the resentment inside of you and they go off and live their life. They don't know you resent them. They don't feel resentment. You carry resentment inside of yourself, which is chewing you up inside. Literally, the poison that you're taking, hoping they will die, does not work for anybody. And I don't want you, working, I don't want you doing that because if someone hurts you, meaning that you, get, you have care and compassion, then you're... Um, self-destruction isn't what I would want to support. So that's what it comes back to. So judgment of your, on yourself is a negative. When you judge, and this is the thing, when you judge somebody else for what they did, again, they don't know about it. They're living their life doing their own thing. The judgment sits inside of you, in your heart, which becomes a burden and a weight that you carry. So unlike resentment, which is more toxic, and it is toxic energetically, which is more poisonous, judgment is more like a block to love. So when you're judging somebody else, it isn't about them, it's the judgment you hold against them. Now, let me be clear. When you judge somebody else, yes, the judgment inside of you, it doesn't change what they did if you don't judge them anymore. Because some people out there, maybe you, you judge righteously because they hurt you. Therefore, you should be judging them for what they did wrong. Maybe so. However, the judgment you're carrying around with you is simply destroying and blocking your own ability to love. So it's destroying your, it's destroying your uh, openness and it's blocking your ability to love. So, and I'm, I'm just going to lay down the, land, the, the groundwork first so when I talk about forgiveness, it makes sense. So judgment and resentment are weapons you use against yourself because somebody else did something. Do you get how crazy that sounds? Because in a way it is. 
If somebody does something stupid, wrong, upsetting, um, and the thing about it is, I'm being I'm being um, generous at this one. It's just saying it's about somebody who does something that upsets you. But the reality is, somebody that does something to you personally, somebody steals something from you, somebody physically hurts you, somebody damages your property, somebody doesn't pay you, they owe you money. The temptation to judge them is very strong. I understand. But the reality is none of those things changes by you judging them. You might feel better for a moment going, I feel better because I resent them, but long term it's just going to hurt you. So I'm not saying don't judge ever. I am saying watch how much of a burden you put on your own shoulders and your own heart when you judge somebody else. So I'll make sure this fits so you get a sense of where I'm going with this. So judgment is the weapon that you use against yourself. When you do forgiveness, it's releasing the judgment. When you do forgiveness, it releases that resentment so that you basically take the poison out of your system. Forgiveness is like um, putting a healing agent into your body. That's the power of forgiveness. It's an ability for you to actually resolve any discord inside of yourself so that one, you can take away the toxicity of any judgments. Two, you can actually be um, more open-hearted. And three, your ability to love gets restored. That's what I said, it's a master key to free your heart. Forgiveness is so powerful, but most people neglect it. So you get a sense of what judgment and resentment are like, so forgiveness. The way that I have been taught to use forgiveness is not about forgiving somebody else. It's about forgiving yourself. Why well, forgive myself? They did it to me, why would I forgive myself? Because of the fact that I judge what they did. See, forgiveness is not resolving what they did. Forgiveness is resolving the judgments you placed about what they did. But those judgments, as I mentioned, live inside of you. So forgiveness is part of the process. Not all of it. It's part of the process. And when you forgive yourself for the judgment you place against somebody else, you let yourself off the hook, and then you can respond to what happened from a more clear, um, caring place. So if, some, if a client didn't pay you, and you judge them for not paying you, you may be judging them for not paying you, but the reality is, Coming to them from the place of judgment doesn't resolve the issue easily. If you get from the place that you forgive yourself for judging them for not paying you, and you let yourself off the hook and you free them up, and I'll get to how to do that in a moment, and you free yourself, get yourself off the hook, then when you next talk to that client, you can approach them from a compassionate place, and perhaps you find yourself working out a payment plan. Or they come back to you and say, I wish I told you earlier I got caught up in a deal, I couldn't take care of you, I want to pay you now. Amazing things can happen after you do, after you find forgiveness, and it's this that's the must that's this powerful gift of forgiveness is that you can be um, you may be very surprised about what um, happens after you forgive yourself. So let me let me give you a little sample of how forgiveness works. Again, forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. Forgiveness is also for your heart to let go of the judgments that you place against anybody else. It's also, by the way, a, um, good to see you folks in here, by the way. I'm loving to see all the comments come up, so I appreciate that. Um, I, was, I want to keep on track because i got a challenge. I got a, I've got a habit of getting caught up in the comments and I forget what I was saying, so let me stay on track. <laughs> you can also apply forgiveness to judgments you've placed against yourself. I'm sure I'm the only one who's had judgments against myself. You never had that, I'm sure. Well, if you've been judging yourself for something that you did or didn't do, that you don't have or do have, Maybe you judged that you didn't do meditation this morning. Maybe you judged that you didn't eat the right thing today. Maybe you judged that you didn't call the person who promised you to call. Maybe you judge um, that you didn't pay your coach or something. The judgment doesn't help resolve that. In fact, the judgment puts more separation between you and that person. And it's somebody you care about. And it's somebody like yourself, you're literally putting a wedge between you and yourself which is not inhabiting yourself fully. You're actually isolating your heart and yourself from the rest of you. That's not fun. So again, forgiveness is a powerful tool to release the judgments. And so when you understand that judgment is a wedge between you and anybody else, and a wedge between you and your wholeness, forgiveness becomes, give me it now. You know. The sitting grab hold of forgiveness, truly, not and, and not to give it lip service, but to actually use forgiveness effectively, it will transform your own way of being, and it will allow you to get yourself off the hook for judging, for resenting, and for limiting your perception of other people, and for yourself. 
So, how do you do forgiveness? It's very simple, really. So I'll give you a breakdown of it. Um, it's, actually, it's actually a chapter in my book. I've got a, a downloadable handout I use for it and also work it as a key quality, a, a core element of my coaching my clients because it's part of the emotional work. So forgiveness is, I don't remember how many steps it is, but I'll, I'll tell you what they are and then you can tally up the number afterwards. It starts with, first of all, being aware of the judgment you have. It may be a judgment against somebody else or maybe a judgment against yourself. And when you get to the point of going, I need to change this, that's the first step. Like awareness, I have a judgment, I want to risk it, forgive this. Perfect. Now you can start. Forgiveness starts by becoming clear of what the judgment is and who it's against. Yourself, somebody else. So for example, if I, let's say I have a judgment against the, <laughs> okay, something happened. I was at a friend's going away party last night and they had put out this box of, um, not designers, the wrong word, um, gourmet um, donuts. And I could not resist. I'm attempting to be a little bit less sugar addicted, and I'm doing pretty good at it. In fact, I'm doing very good at it. But last night I OD'd, and I did way too much sugar, and I was a bit judgmental about it. So I'm going to give you a real example so you can see how it works for myself, and then I'll do one for somebody else. Um, I mean, I'm laughing because it was amusing, but I realized that in some part I was feeling guilty that he did it. Um, yes, and if you want to share this video out to groups, you can do that. Share it with anybody, and you do it while it's running or you do it after it's finished. Either way, you can share it out with people you think should hear this, and also if you want to share it in other groups, pages, wherever, you feel free, so thank you. Um, yes, um, I appreciate that. So, I got home last night, having, and I'd also been, to be honest, um, actually no, I'd, I'd been to a beach party earlier, but I had eaten somewhat more regular food, like with salads and stuff, but that was an excuse. I, I would eat last night on sugar. So, I was judging myself for not taking care of myself. You know, I got home kind of buzzed from the sugar. So the judgment, the process of forgiveness, to so say now you've got the judgment I placed, you're welcome. Now I've got the judgment placed, how do I forgive it? So first of all, where I judged myself last night. And the truth is that I was feeling less of myself because of it. So the way forgiveness works is, first of all, um, in this case, is to come to a place of being willingness to forgive. Because with other people, it's often it's hard, it's hard to get there. But I'll give you more of that in a moment. So for myself, I basically said, okay, in this context, I forgive myself for judging myself as a sugar addict. For sake of another word. It can be different words, in, and I may use a different, few different words in the example. The key thing about this is what it's saying is you're forgiving yourself for judging yourself as something. Not forgiving yourself for being wrong, not forgiving yourself, I'm not forgiving myself for being a sugar addict because you can't forgive the behavior. I'm not sorry, forgiving the behavior doesn't work, but forgiving yourself for the judgment against the behavior is what counts. So I forgive myself for judging myself as being a sugar addict, or, or more importantly, I forgive myself for judging myself as being a pig when it came to those donuts, which is true. I felt that. So if you give yourself so harshly, this is a homework assignment I'll give you at the end, and I can, um, if you want the actual. Um, worksheet I have, I'll send it to you. And by the way, I also recommend another book, besides my own book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover is my book, and I have a chapter in there about forgiveness, and I talk about how to do it. In there, I also have the two downloads. One is the PDF I have I can send you about forgiveness that I wrote. There's also a PDF that I got from a book called Radical Forgiveness by, um, it's kind of come back to me in a moment, but that book is good on that process too. It's actually it's got a second book out called Radical Self-Forgiveness. Anyway, back to this process. So, I'm forgiving myself for judging myself as being a pig when it came to those donuts, for example. Saying that a few times and saying it slow enough to feel it, and you can maybe, you can do it by putting your hand on your heart, looking in the mirror, how are you going to do that in terms of deeping yourself into your own self-forgiveness is the way to do this. Because it's not just saying, I forgive myself for judging myself as being a pig with the donuts. That's like, no, that's mechanical. And it's working up here because you're running the script but it's not feeling any way down here. So when you're doing this forgiveness, it's really a feeling exercise because to be honest, the judgments you placed got wedged into your feelings. So forgiveness is what kicks them out of that wedge, that, that, that place of stuckness inside. So I forgive myself for judging myself as um, addicted to those donuts last night. 
and I'm kind of laughing because it was an amusing experience. Now, I, did, I wasn't going to use a, a serious one because I don't really have one right now, to be honest. But that was one I experienced because I was feeling like I shouldn't have done that. And if you ever should, that's another judgment, you'll be aware of that. Shoulds and have tos, especially ones where judgment shows up, by the way, just in case we watch the language saying, I should have done this differently, or I have to do this. There's likely to be a judgment in the middle of that. So that's a little clue, by the way. Added bonus information. So I forgive myself for judging myself as being abusive of those donuts. When you've done that a couple of times, you can add an extra piece of that, which is, and the truth is, I let myself have the freedom to eat those donuts, which is really the truth. So by having that complete statement, and it's not something you run through as a script again, you do it, do it organically is preferable. We'll go through the pieces of the, of the statement and feel each moment because I'm really teaching you how to let yourself off the hook. So this is the one for self-forgiveness, and I do one for forgiving other people too. Same structure for a different reason. Um, when, you forgive, when you're forgiving yourself, again, what I'm saying is, I'm stopping judging myself, and I'm accepting what I did as being okay. It's also then the next piece after that's gonna be homework, like, well, I need something different next time, or I'm gonna make sure I go and eat salads for the next four days, or whatever that is, that's caused corrective for behavior, but out of love, not out of judgment. Key switch. So that's that piece. And let me do one for forgiveness for somebody else so you understand where it's going on. So I'm gonna think, who, I can, who can I talk about who I judge? <laughs> Let me be thoughtful, I'll be careful about who I talk about because there's going to be public visit, um, things. Let me make it impersonal so I don't judge it, so I don't talk about that. Um, all right, let's do one random, random one. Um, I was riding my bike yesterday uh, up the beach to go to the, the beach party um, that was being hosted. And I, let me be honest, I tend to judge the tourists who get on the bike path and get in the way. <laughs> Just to be honest. So I will use that as an example about judging somebody else and forgiving them. They know, know not what they do, and that's kind of the truth about this, is they, don't, they know not what they do. So riding up the bike path yesterday, and I like to sprint on my bike, so I like going fast. And the challenge is when I come around certain parts of the bike path, there are crosswalks and parts of the bike path where the tourists, usually because the most of the people are going to know better, or the people just don't care, walk right across the bike path and it becomes hazardous. I mean, I, I can hit them, they hit me, it, it's not pretty. And so I get kind of cautious. But also it's judgmental, so how to do that. I forgive myself for judging those tourists as blind as a bat. Okay, that's an extreme one. But it's again, again, forgiving, forgiving that person for what they did, not for who they are. So I forgive, forgive myself for judging, again, not forgiving them for what they did, forgive, forgive myself for judging them for what they did. I think it's, a, it's an extra step. I forgive myself for judging these tourists as being oblivious to me. Now, I'm gonna have another piece of that quickly before I go on to the next part for them. I forgive myself for judging myself as being, um, <laughs> how do I say this? Challenged by them, in a way, because I was really getting my, my up about it, so I was getting a bit angry. So I, I forgive myself for judging myself for getting angry at the tourists, that's accurate. So that's another part for me. So back to them again. So I forgive myself for judging myself. Sorry, I forgive myself for judging them as um, arrogant. Or I forgive myself for judging them as being self-centered and not caring about anybody on the, on the my part. I'm just giving you again, these examples. I'm going through the whole forgiveness process. Again, same thing there. And at the back end, after you've done that a few times, saying that uh, where the truth is, they were so wrapped up in the world, they missed me. I mean, they didn't see me, rather. That's, that's pretty accurate. I mean, most of the time when I do, like, yell out, heads up, or on your left, or coming through, they look up, like, like totally surprised that I was even there. So the reality is they weren't aware I was there. That's the reality. But I was judging them because they were on their phones, you know, and oblivious to what was around them. And when, okay, I'll do another one now. <laughs> there were lots of young people riding around their bikes with their phones on the right front of the handlebars, videotaping or picturing themselves whilst they're riding their bikes, looking at how cool they were. Selfie, selfie land, you know. And to be honest, that I don't like. I, I judge that. So let me do another one for my sake. Because <laughs> we're on the same page. I forgive myself for judging these kids as being selfish. It's kind of fits. Let me try the one again. I forgive myself for judging these kids as being 
addicted to their phones, which is true. When the truth is, they haven't learnt yet. That's kind of sort of how it works. Again, it's not perfect, so I'm working on this. If you're doing figuring this for yourself, you want to do this in a very um, uh, what's the word for? organic process and go deeper and deeper and deeper until you feel it click. Because you'll feel a shift inside, really. When you do forgiveness for real, it starts to shift your heart. Because again, as I said, it's a master key to free your heart. Forgiveness works like that, where it will actually open up space inside of you and you'll feel differently. These are examples I'm using, and, and yes, there's certainly part of my own work here. I don't want to spend half an hour doing this in front of you until I get healing. Because there were, there were mild judgments. But you may have judgments against parents, kids, your own, I mean, siblings, um, your spouse, your co-worker, um, your boss. Those judgments may be more impactful in your life. This works for them too. So, you forgive yourself for judging the behavior for yourself. You can forgive yourself for judging another person for their behavior. That's basically what it is. And at the end of that, when you get clear, you're saying the truth is about them, the truth is about yourself. That's the format. When you do this, it will change your life. For some of you who never experienced forgiveness before, this will be a game changer. And if you want to go deeper with this, again, I, I can give you uh, a PDF document, which is my description of this. And this I learned from my, by the way, just to give you context and give you props. Um, I learned this from my master's program when I was at University of Santa Monica, which is a master's degree in spiritual psychology, although it's no longer doing it. But it was a core element of their teaching, which I took on. So I'm just giving you my interpretation of that. I can give you that one. I've also got another handout, which I, or a link I can say. No, I can give you the handout, which is a PDF from um, a book called Radical Forgiveness, which is another book that's out. You can find it on bookshelves. Again, my book is 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, which you can also get, which is 50 Principles for Healthy Relationships, one of which is forgiveness. And also this book called Radical Forgiveness, where the whole book is about forgiveness. And the guy's name will come back to me at some point, maybe before I finish this video. Um, but he's got a new book that came out about three or four years ago called Radical Self-Forgiveness. Um, both books are on Amazon. They're available in bookstores. They're well, they're well, um, what's the word? They're well distributed. But again, if you want the handout, because it's a free handout that's on his website, and I put it on my website, I put it in my list of things to give out too, which is the Radical Forgiveness Worksheet. So I'll give you both if you want those. Just reach out to me. Um, thank you. And yeah, just, just direct message me over, well, if this is on Facebook Live, if it'll be on YouTube later and on my website, it'll be on my website, you can email me through my website, through the contact sheet. Watch it on Facebook Live, just um, um, put a comment below, better yet, direct message me over, to, over Facebook. If it's, you're seeing this on another platform like YouTube, you can message me there. Uh, LinkedIn, same thing. Yeah, th this, this video goes other places, by the way. So that's it. That's really the nut in a nutshell how forgiveness works. Um, it's a powerful tool and it is one of the master keys to freeing your heart. So take this to heart, use it. It's, I don't get commission. I don't take, don't take a percentage, use it as much as you want, own it, live it, and express it. Forgiveness will change your life. It's a powerful tool, especially with those darker, deeper judgments and resentments you've been carrying around for the last 25 years. I hope that helps. If you, again, if you know anybody who you think should see this, please share it with them out and um, share the link to their wall, to their page, direct, direct message them. Uh, if you want to share so many groups or people you know, feel free to do that as well. And uh, if you want any help in this area, please reach out to me. This is part of my work is helping you with that area because my work is around heart-centered work, supporting you freeing and expressing your heart and loving life. Um, I think that's it. This is one of a series. This is number 87 in my series of Facebook Lives. I do this every day. Um, if you haven't seen them before, please go back and watch the other ones. They're on my business page. They're on my YouTube channel. They're also on my website. And if you have any questions about this, please reach out to me. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Glad I could help. Hopefully you got some value out of this. And I'll be back again tomorrow with a whole other topic, perhaps. I'll see you later. Bye.